All right, so first off, what is indie horror? Well, it's a subgenre of horror, mostly involving video games or movies that are made by a small team of people. Examples of this genre include Five Minutes at Freddy's, Baldi's Basics, and Poppy Playtime. Indie horror has become part of our culture, whether it be good or in bad ways. In this video, I'm gonna basically going to be explaining why I think indie horror has gotten worse in the modern year. In this short, like, video essay type style. So with that out of the way, let's blow this popsicle stand and begin. Uh, before we start this next section, I just need to say that I apologize for sounding bored there. I recorded that late at night, and I was pretty tired at the time. With that, let's actually move on to the next section. A big problem to me about modern indie horror is the marketing. Games nowadays don't have any heart put into them, and made purely out of cash and money. So, what they do is try to make the character look as marketable and iconic as they can. So you can bust out your wallet whenever you see a plush toy at them at Walmart or something. Even I could do it with very little to no effort into it. As a matter of fact, I did. His name is Shitty Wiggy. Here he is. Don't attack me. I literally made him in like two minutes. But that was just an example of characters being made just to make a quick buck off of merchandise sales. The worst example of marketing is regarding a bonbon. When literally the first chapter came out, there was literally already a merch page, and all the stuff on there is literally overpriced as fuck. I couldn't find the shop online, so I just used footage from the YouTuber Tylerline264. Hopefully he isn't too mad that I found out that I basically kind of stole his footage. The shop is quite literally a scam. Like, $50 for a shitty shirt. Wow. So yeah, marketing for indie horror games suck. Let's just move on to the next part of this video. Games get big, which is pretty obvious. So what's the issue with that? So my issue is with it is that it starts to appeal to uh, younger, a younger demographic when it probably isn't is, which has kind of led to the sort of uh, kind of return of Elsa Gate, which is a whole other can of worms for a totally different video. But these popular indie horror games becoming popular with kids is kind of a big deal. It, like, it doesn't sound that bad, but like anything that like these people see is like even slightly popular like, to a younger demographic they will go on to milk this game until poor moo moo is all out of milk a great example of this is the youtuber lanky box two is it two youtubers or one are they like in a relationship or something i don't know but like it's a channel that takes popular stuff like Alphabet War, Poppy Playtime, and Rainbow Friends and basically milks it. Milks it till it's dry. The content is very, very effortless and takes little to no skill to make. Heck, even I could make this type of content if I had, well, if I wanted to. Well, if I'm gonna do that, I might as well make a skit. Here goes nothing. Hi, 
guys, welcome to some video. Today I'm going to be calling Poppy Playtime at 3 a.m. I got the number right here on my editor. Put a phone there. Thanks. On my phone. So, uh, let's call them. Hello? Poppy Playtime, is that you? Hey, uh, it's me, Poppy Playtime. I'm gonna come <gasps> to your house. No way, guys! He's coming to my house! <gasps> there he is! <laughs> I'm sorry you had to watch that cringe. Uh, yeah. With that said, let's just move on to the next section of this video. I can't really make very many jokes because this is some pretty serious stuff. So, there was a YouTuber called Enchanted Mob. You basically might know them as Mob Games now, the people that made Poppy Playtime. And there was this other YouTuber which I think it was like Etzer, I don't exactly remember his name. But like, Enchanted Mob and some of his friends used to bully this dude. And it's, and this dude went on to make a game called Avenged. What, well, Venged? Venge. Oh god, I can't pronounce it. Uh, and basically, it's believed that the devs of Poppy Playtime stole this game. Well, basically stole the idea. It's pretty fucked up. And you can't really support these people anymore. And the worst part, they are not the only game devs that have been in this kind of controversy. Well, Enchanted Mobs are the only devs that have involved bullying and stuff like that, but it gets a whole lot worse. A while back, the dev of Guardian Bon Bon made this game. I don't remember what it's called, but it's pretty messed it's pretty messed up stuff. Basically it's like their vision. Wait. Huh. Uh the game is Apparently, what they want, which the game is basically about school shootings, which is pretty messed up stuff, but it gets deeper. Because of this, it's believed that whatever the heck brother is, whatever the heck their name is, have pretty violent intentions. Also, this isn't serious, but they're also completely delusional of why people hate Garden of Bon Bon. They believe that gar they people hate Garden of Bon Bon because it has a main menu. But people hate it for other reasons. But that aside, it's pretty messed But this game is pretty messed up. Especially when you consider the origin of it. I don't believe any horror indie devs should be trusted. Heck, I don't think even I can be trusted. Just, uh, be careful who you look up to, alright? With that, this video is over with. It took quite a while to make. Actually, it took only a few weeks, but whatever. Let's, with that, let's move on to my outro.